I know you mad cause they rock with this I know you mad cause I'm poppin' shit I know you mad you can't drop like this You mad I'm gon' shine, you can't stop the shit Why you hatin', they love me for what I do Keep it so G, yeah, that's how I move You thought you could see me, I change the view Got a man when you win, niggas pray you lose Ayy, you talk down Welcome to another episode of Uncork the Podcast Where you uncork your thoughts For sure um, Yes, sir I'm one of your hosts Hollis and to the left of me, we have. Oh, I thought you were going to say my name, cuz my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let y'all boys introduce oh, yourselves. Sure. Hey, you know what who it is. It's uh, Malik, aka King Drastic. Um, friends call me Malik. Um, no longer known as Drastic anymore. See, though. It's been a long time, man. But uh, <laughs> tripping. glad to be back. Just fucking with him, though. You know, talk my shit. But uh, we're going to pass it on. Oh, uh, shit. Jones. That's what my friends call me, but y'all don't know me, so y'all call me Jonathan. I don't call him Jones. Whatever. <laughs> and uh, Josh. Josh Williams. Uh, that nigga ain't government. Yeah. Whole name. That nigga Whole said, name. <laughs> I did not do it. Let him know, Josh. I am innocent. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do nothing wrong, so I, I shoot. I didn't you know, do I'm anything. Out. Yeah, for sure. It was him. <laughs> so uh, today we're going to speak on the uh, the viral clip with... Cam Newton, and basically he's talking about uh, the definition of what a bad bitch is and <laughs> what his standards are as far as a woman that he's looking for. A bad bitch is a person who's just, you know, girl, I'm a bad bitch. You know, I'm doing <laughs> this, I'm doing that. I, 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 I look the part, but I don't act the part. Okay. You know, and it's a lot of women who are bad bitches and i say bitches in, in, in a way not to degrade a woman but just to 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 go off the aesthetic of what they deem is a boss chick mm -hmm. now a woman for me is handling your own but knowing how to cater to a man's needs mm -hmm. right and I think a lot of times when you get that aesthetic of, like, I'm a boss bitch, like, I'm a this, I'm a dad. No, baby. Like, but you can't cook. Okay. You, right. don't, know, you don't know when to be quiet. You mm -hmm. don't know how to allow a man to lead. So, any of you fellas want to touch on that, on the reaction for it? Man, when I first heard it, oh, uh, I really didn't think nothing, he said anything bad. Was it controversial? A little bit, only because of the climate that we in. Uh, but I don't really think he's saying it out of the way. Like, uh, I ain't really got, I ain't got no feelings on it, to be real. <laughs> like, <laughs> on, on some real shit. Like, yeah. And, and honestly, I, I'd agree. Because I don't think he lied. Like, he, like somebody just said, like, it's because who he is. Like, if anybody else would have said that, I mean, they still probably would have thought, if I feel like it's the person in the delivery. Because if Kevin Samuels would say some shit like that, they'll be down his throat too. Because yeah. that's all he, he talk Trying about. To dog, yeah. yeah, but they always on his throat though. Yeah. Um What you think about it, Hollis? Man, me personally, I don't I don't see anything wrong with what he said. Uh you agree with what he said? I, I can agree to a certain extent. Um I can see why women were offended. So a certain group of women were offended. Cause you know, like they say, a hit dog will holler. <laughs> so yes, I can see why they were, and, and also it could, it could be how. I don't even think he really delivered the message wrong. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I know sometimes certain words can trigger certain reactions, yeah. like the words submissive, like that can kind of trigger certain reactions out of people. Or you know how to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Exactly. That I feel like anybody would be triggered. Uh, so, again, I, I don't think he really said anything wrong. Um, and again, he also he also prefaced it with what he's looking for. Yeah. And I think people need to separate their feelings from other people's from from what one person prefaces are. Yeah. So that, that's just my thoughts on it. What about you, Josh? I personally don't think he said anything wrong. I think it got triggered with the can't cook, cook clean, and the uh, being quiet. 
Yeah. And like, you basically tell somebody to shut the fuck up. I who the fuck you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> so, who? So, I think that's right. <laughs> so, but I personally don't think he said anything wrong. Dressed? My fault, Malik. <laughs> you still I'm, drastic, man. <laughs> for sure. Uh, Stop the cap. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> nah, I mean, like, you know, I, I really don't, I mean, honestly, I don't feel like either way about what he said. Like, I don't think he said anything, like, controversial per se, but I can understand, like, it being, you know, being taken away based on, like, how he explained it. But, like, like my lady said, like, it's really more so in the in the context in which he was trying to say it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like she was saying, like, on both sides, you know how to shut the fuck up. Because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think we get so caught up in, like, well, if I do so much or if I'm doing this, I got the right to say whatever the fuck I want to say. You know what I'm saying? And I can say it to whatever magnitude I want to say it. And, like, I don't give the other person a chance to get their shit in because I'm so, like, about what the fuck I'm trying to say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I think, in, like, if you, like how she said, if you're looking at, if you're looking from looking at it from that lens, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, it's more so in the context of, like, both sides need to learn how to, like, be able to, like, listen. It's just like how you spoke, like, <clears throat> not letting somebody be able to lead. Like, you have to be willing to let that happen. You know what I'm saying? You have to be in that. But also, like you said, yeah, you have to be able to put that person in that space because he did mention that, too. Like, she has to be in that space to want you to do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, to want to have you do that. You know what I'm saying? She has to feel comfortable. She has to know, okay, boom, like, from the traits he's shown me, how he is, you know, from X, Y, Z, I trust him to do the things that I'm looking for in a man, which in return, I'm going to do what's required as me, required from me as a woman that he, you know what I'm saying, that he desires as a man. So, like, it worked both ways. Like, you know, niggas say, like, well, I want this. Well, are you showing, you know, whatever it needs to be to be shown? To retreat it as well, or receive it as well, you know what I'm saying? So, I think it's just both sides need to be able to be like, you know. To bear, to, yeah, to, to, to hold to, their own. Yeah, to bear the fruit experience. in which you seek, you need to be able to. So, I got a question. I'm glad you said this because it made me think of something. Right. So, in so many words, you said like, in order for a woman to give her submissive self or be in her feminine energy. Yeah. She would have to see those traits to allow her to give that off. Right. So, the question is, what? Why doesn't? And I don't feel like it speak speak for everybody. Like, why do women don't like? Why women don't show that initially? Is that what you about to ask? Like, somewhat. I'm. I'm. I'm finna. It's just a two part question. Okay. Why some of them don't show it initially and. How how would the tables be turned if we were to say, you know what, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be a man until she showed me her feminist submissive energy. Then I'd be a, a, a man that's gonna right. hold shit down. Okay, let me let, let me go let me say something about that first. <laughs> I think, and this this is just my whole thought process on everything you just explained. I feel like we get too caught up. And one, we get too caught up and worried about how other people feel relationships should go. Yeah. I think we listen to other people too much instead of seeking what makes you happy, what makes you feel like I will be fulfilled in relationship. We get too caught up in what Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all this, Facebook, all this shit. You see your friends come in and say, if a nigga don't do this or if a chick don't do that, he ain't worthy. And then, like, we get too caught up in, like, well, damn it. If I ain't doing that, does that mean the same for me? And you ain't even found nobody that, you know what I'm saying, compatible with you. But you worried about what what, what Sasha Banks got going on. You know what I'm saying? I, that name don't exist, by the way. I don't know who it is. I just came I up with it. like a porn star. I don't know. Sasha. I, it might be. Yeah. I think it is. It sounds like a porn. Let me ask my nigga Giants. I know he'll know. Uh, well, I just gave away my. Nah, I don't be watching. If she is, I'm watching. I'm being serious. <laughs> she right definitely a porn star. Home. Huh? Uh, do I watch porn? <laughs> yeah, I watch porn. Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Ain't no wrong with that. But damn, bro, y'all finna put me in timeout because I said I watch. No, nah, bro, it's a natural thing. But uh, we getting out top. Listen here. I, no, go ahead. <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking around. But now, nah, like you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like it just we get too caught up in this battle of like men versus women. I think that's really what it is. Like I agree because we get too caught up in like okay, if a man say women ain't doing this shit. 
women gonna backfire. If a woman say men ain't doing this, men as a whole gonna backfire. And it's like you need to figure out what you do best, what women, what women you're attra- you know attracted to, and and who you attract, and like do that. You know what I'm saying? Stop getting caught up in everybody else shit. But like, I do agree. Like we we do get caught up in this whole like like how you mentioned like why wait to show I like. If you're trying to be somebody's husband, if you're trying to be somebody's wife, why wait to yeah. like show those traits? Yeah, show those traits. If that's what you're dating for. The question is, why is it? I feel like it is not acceptable at all for a man to utter those words. Like, you know what? I'm gonna wait to show my manly traits until she show me some feminine. I traits. agree, but I feel like you shouldn't even have that mindset too, though. You know what I'm saying? I agree. Yeah, yeah like you, you should just it should just be in you to be like, well. I'm a man. I'm I think finna- certain certain traits should be natural. Yeah, right. you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I agree. Like, yeah, because I mean, if you taking a girl out anyway, you showing, not saying that that it's gonna turn out to be perfect, but you showing husband traits because you are showing that you can provide. Yeah, I ain't saying that you can, but if you're doing, you trying to take her out. Yeah, because I don't think you, on the first date should no woman pay for no meal. Me no. person. I feel you. So I agree mostly. Yeah. Nah, man. We we just talked about this on the uh, last pod. Yeah, <laughs> but so so a shorty offered to to to. Oh no, I ain't gonna turn her down. I ain't gonna turn her down by my collar. But I'm just saying. <laughs> so at the end of the day, but I'm just saying. But a man should uh put this bitch should on. provide. We should take she. So if I had a daughter, I would tell yeah. her straight up. No matter how much you like him, on the first date he should pay. Now after that, you know you can do what you want. I feel Especially if you're showing interest. Yeah. But I think first yeah. first date he should pay. Now, I ain't saying he got to go spend $1,000 and all that, but you should, you know, go out to eat, check it out. Communication is key, too. You know what I'm saying? You get to a certain point, like, you should be able to discuss shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, So, with Cam Newton talking about the quote-unquote bad bitch, back to, you said we want to talk about it, we might as well bring it up. Yeah. Like, what's your definition of a bad bitch? Or, like, is a bad, like, because I feel like everybody's definition would be different. It's so funny we just talked about that. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, so, I would say a bad if I was looking for a bad bitch, the qualities I would look for would be uh, oh we ambition would be one definitely. Like I'm, I've always been attracted to anyone that's any woman, of course. That's good. <laughs> Gotta clarify that. You know, it's it's 2022. (laughs) It's allowed now. (laughs) No, it's not. Uh, (laughs) But, uh, so ambition, any woman is like, uh, is passionate about what they do and good at it, that, that, that's, that's a bad bitch to me. You know what I'm saying? If I was looking for a bad bitch, uh, that's a fucking turn on, bro. Yeah, like it was something like if a woman is good at whatever she, I don't even give a damn if it's knitting or goddamn it, uh, skipping did. rocks across a pond. If she the truth <laughs> in it, like that shit, that shit hot. I agree. I agree. <laughs> so, is she ambitious and passionate about it? Yeah, and then uh, anyone that can like, shit, hip. If I'm with somebody and they make me want to be a better person, that's always a plus too. So like, I don't know what trait that would be. That, that will that, fall under. So that's more your supporter. Like she more like supportive, s- understanding, um, motivating, motivating. Yeah. yeah, loving, caring, yeah. all that good shit. Um, Peacemaker. <laughs> he said all that good shit. But like, I <laughs> for real though. But nah, like, I feel, nah, just, okay. a lot of the things that <clears throat> I don't feel like that aligns with the typical bad bitch definition. Because normally a bad bitch definition is like. Aesthetic. You talk, yeah. You talk about the aesthetics. You talk about looks. You talk about ass. You talk about hair. You talk about yeah. if they nails did. Like I, that's the. I feel like that's the generic definition. Like so. Enough of mine. What's y'all's? So, of course, y'all know I don't refer to women as bitches. You know what I'm saying? But for me, a solid woman is, of course, uh, a woman that's ambitious, uh, that has something that she's working towards. Yeah. Or is already established. So whether, like I was telling Josh earlier, uh, whether that be um, she got a number of degrees under her belt and currently working in her field, or she got like her own shit that she's currently working on. And uh, to me, that shows that she chose something, she stuck to it, and she was committed to it. And she saw that shit through. Um, Other than that, integrity is one. 
another thing that's pretty strong for me. Yeah. Um, is she a genuine person? Because you got a lot of nice motherfuckers in the world, but you don't have a lot of genuine people. I and it's wholeheartedly a, agree. It's a, a major difference between the two. Um, does she have a caring spirit? Is she nurturing? Um, and also a, a feminine woman. I like a woman that also, ooh, fashion is another thing. If she can dress her ass If she can be in her bag with, like, you did that shit. (laughs) Hey, she can go from wearing Jordans to heels and look good. (laughs) (laughs) Have y'all ever seen, like, a medium ugly chick where she can dress her ass off? (laughs) (laughs) Hello, repeat that. that. A medium ugly chick, like, I ain't gonna say medium, I'm gonna say medium medium cute chick. Like, she, she's decent. Hey, can, can, you can edit this part, right? Because she didn't want to get up because we were recording. Oh, it's like, all right. Yeah. I was like, just go. You got a squirrel bladder, apparently, because that's about her field time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh. Pretty much. Damn. Only went once, bro. Yeah, he have only went once. See, that nigga maturing. <laughs> 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 hey, but look, though. If I do say so myself. But, yo, yeah, like I was saying, a medium ugly, uh. Man, what is medium ugly, though? Oh, I'm gonna say this. She's a she's a decent looking chick, but her confidence and the way she carries herself and the way she dress give her extra points. Yeah. Because I've seen beautiful women that can't dress worth a damn. Like I'm gonna say I'm gonna say aesthetically pleasing. Like she look good, but what the fuck she got on? Oh yeah. And I've yeah. seen women that look decent, like, oh yeah, she cute, but she wore the fuck out of whatever she Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a turn on. And I guess that'll probably fall in the category of what bad bitches, right? In my Somebody, definition, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or your yeah. definition of a bad woman. Yeah. I know y'all call them bitches. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> but um but yeah, I I agree. I'm Gucci. Totally I don't want no do say. Nah, I'm good on that. I'll take so. I'll take a shot of that. Yeah, I'll take a shot of this McCoy and goddamn it. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I heard that uncle. <laughs> the podcast. What about you though, Josh? What's your thoughts on that? Family, supportive, loyal. Yeah, loyalty. She gotta be hands down. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Um, <clears throat> definitely can hold on. Did I say freak? But I oh, yeah. like freaking a bit. You can inspire the, the I mean, freakiness out of her. Yeah, yeah. You can get that out of her. Yeah. Um, so, what I say? I Ambition. <laughs> yeah, you might well go through. Yeah. And we bring you this brief. And bring peace. Peace. Bring yeah. peace, peace. of motherfucker. I, I don't peace. know how I missed that one. Hey, listen. I dis- a peace, what? peace and a piece of pussy? I disagree with the bring peace, though. Why? Whoa. No, no, I ain't saying, listen, hold on. Oh, we, so when we, I say peace, I want her to hear her opinion. But it's ways you can say certain things but without causing like, an argument. I feel like you should already be at peace before she even. No, 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 no. I'm happy. Okay. But... Uh, so, a spouse can bring hell to your life. Okay, I understand it, but I'm saying like, you shouldn't like want her to bring the peace. You know what I'm saying? You he, you should want playing her. on words. Hey, I'm not. Doing. I'm just saying she should add to that. Like you should already be at peace. That's right. basically what Josh is saying. That's just what Josh is saying. Okay. Don't knock me down, man. Nah, I ain't. You want to shout? Yeah, I want to shout. Man, listen here, man. I'm just saying, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like because, but like a lot of niggas do. Well, nah, I'm not saying you, but I'm just saying like a lot of, well, I ain't gonna say niggas. I'm just gonna say people. Like, even though it's. No, say what you gotta say. Even though it's mainly us that say this. But, you know, that whole bring peace shit. Like, I, and I understand the concept, like, not being in a situation where it's like every day I regret being around you because it ain't nothing but hell. Like, I get that. I'm just saying, like, make sure, too, that you're not. Setting the foundation for like, hey, listen, a toxic environment. You know I, what I'm saying? I 100 agree. And but be listen, at peace. Listen, I'm gonna go off my experience and what other people Facts. say. You can, I listen. I told, I was talking to female, and I told her, hey, look, this is what I don't like. Yeah. And we can, you can come to me and talk to me about anything, but the way you come, I don't like. For sure. I guess she thought I was communication joking, is key, and she came back with it. <laughs> hey, just know she was gone. <laughs> peace. It's it's a way. They I can feel get stuff done. I feel like without. the definition of peace that we talk about bring peace is basically we saying don't bring us no drama. Don't bring, don't bring no sure. no added tension to the situation. Yeah. It wasn't even no tension. 
Right. Cause I might be battling with my own demons, and you adding <laughs> on to it. It's hell. Talk about them bitches at work. Yeah. That you don't like, but you be going out <laughs> drinking. Let me let me stop. I've been saying that you let her come home and tell your problems at work. I listen to that, but I'm talking about like if I just had a hard day at work, and then you come to me like with a problem that and nagging and nagging. And then, like, especially if I come up with a solution and you still act like I didn't say nothing. Oh, no, nah, because they got, you got, no. Because, like, I, I have no problem with a, anytime you got a problem, yeah, okay, let's fix it. Yeah. I'm cool with that. Let's come up with a solution and fix it. Well, if I come up with a solution and we come up, you won, and we still don't do it, and we still argue about the same thing, that, nah, that's pointless. Yeah. No. It gets, it gets aggravating real quick. Yeah. Nah. Peace. So I'm gonna say it again. Peace. I don't want peace. I want peace. I want problems. I nah, want I don't want no problems. <laughs> you got problems? No, you got that door and go to the job. <laughs> nah. Mm-hmm. Nah, I'm just saying, nah, I was, you know, mocking that little man. Nah, I feel you though. Definitely. Nah, I agree. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Definitely agree. What's your definition of a bad bitch? Well, you know, I'm, I don't call women bitches. Either. Oh, you said that too, huh? Now I sound like I'm just cop. <laughs> nah, bro. Oh, you, you, hey, talk your shit, man. Nah, nah, I, y'all know that. I don't, you know, I don't refer to. <laughs> Niggas know how I rock. Women as bitches, but uh, <laughs> I mean, shit. Y'all pretty much said the same, you know. Um, nurturing. <laughs> Get on down, bro. <laughs> uh, you know, nurturing is definitely key for me. You know what I'm saying? Like that nurturing element. And he's crazy. I'm glad you said that because a lot, of, I don't say a lot, but some women, when they hear that word nurturing, some trigger in their head be like, why you want me to nurture you? Like, you got mommy issues or some shit? I said that like, ain't even the thing. Like, but it, it, the only reason I said it because I've been in this situation when yeah. I say nurturing, they're like, nurturing? I'm like, I'm talking about nurturing for future offspring. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I need to see that you can be able to raise a child and not be like these other motherfuckers at Walmart and their kids running wild. That, that's that's how that's when they, yeah, when I say nurturing, like I'm looking at especially like when you're at a certain point of dating, like if I'm looking to date for you to be my wife, you know what I'm saying? Or you know what I'm saying, my future, like and I definitely want to have kids with you, I'm looking at that. I need to know like yeah. can you be nurturing, you know what I'm saying? Like is that in you? Like that's important to me. Uh you know, support, um, you know, the whole, like, even him mentioning, like, the fashion thing, like, like no matter what you do, whenever I see you, I'm like, God damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you're like, you killing that shit. You know what I'm saying? I know whenever, wherever we go, they ain't got nothing on you. Hey, I got I to gotta plug some real quick. My nigga Nick Walker, uh, Verb and of course, podcast, that nigga had said, like, man, I don't see how y'all niggas be going out and let y'all women out dress y'all. But that nigga be, you know, on his yeah. fly shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But... It's just something that dawned on me, like. Nah, and I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, that nigga do, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's my dog, you feel me? Like, he. Be dress, sauced up. Hey, brother dress <laughs> oh, his ass on, on me. You know what I'm saying? Like, but shit, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just, it's more so like in your confidence, too, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. how, whatever your style is, like, y'all just complimenting each other, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you be flying your own bag. Like, there is no definition of what fly is, it's whatever it is to you, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, whatever you put together. But, like, uh, from that standpoint, um, you know what I'm saying, communication. Because I feel like you, you probably hear communication thing, like, how does that, like, relate to, like, being a, you know, a bad chick or whatever. But, I mean, like, you know what I'm saying, just the ability to be, like, knowing that either, A, like, even if I'm right about something, I don't have to get belligerent with him, to under, like, to get him to understand my point. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. at the same token, like, I can also know when to hear his perspective too. You know Being what I'm saying? Empathetic. So understanding so like, too. Yeah, yeah. understanding. Yeah. yeah. And Pretty then much. a lot of things come with communication. Like some people like to close themselves off. That's cool. Like if you need some space, cool. But like but, eventually we do need to talk about yeah. it. But if you can communicate to me that you need that space. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Instead of just taking it. Man, listen. Even man. though it's yours. I yeah. mean, I, shit, I'm here with you. Let right. me know. Right, yeah. like I can go, goddamn, play the. Well, I ain't got no guy. And like, involved. and I, and it's crazy. I just, <laughs> you funny. <laughs> I just said it, bro. Like, I feel like a lot of shit could like be negated, or even just you wouldn't even run into that problem if communication was just made. You know what I'm saying? Right then and there about whatever was going on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You could have a, and I, I feel like I'm having this conversation over again. But like, you could have a shit today, and like just communicate that, and like. Both sides understand, like, okay, cool. I'm going to give you that space. 
whenever you're ready, we can talk about whatever's going on. Yeah. That way, you don't just react because you feel the type of way. And it ain't because you pissed them off. You know what I'm saying? It just feel that way. And, like, shit can be avoided because, like, if I'm in the moment and I'm pissed off at you and I react a certain way, it's not because I'm upset with you or I hate you, but in that moment, I feel a type of way. So when you say something to me, ask me something, and I, like, lash out, to, you know, lash out at you, it's just based on how I'm feeling at that moment. Instead of me being like, you know what, I'm having a long day, had a bad day, let me, uh, you know, let me just get some time to myself real quick and then I come back and, you know, chop it up with you about what's going on, you know what I'm saying? I feel like if shit like that, on both sides, men and women, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. Like, if we just got to that, like, a lot of shit could be like, it don't matter what it is. Like, yeah. if you feel like it's something that that person need to work on, as long as you come, you know what I'm saying, come say it in a way that's like, not like even lashing out type shit. Yeah. I got a cotton mouth. So like being positive more than negative. <laughs> I do, bro. Yeah. yeah. Being more positive yeah. than uh, intelligent. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. being able to like connect. That's important. Yeah. I feel like people just hop in relationship because like. It's just some shit to do. Yeah, it's just some shit to do. You're not really like looking at all aspects of like what yeah. the fuck is going on around you. Like, you know what I'm but saying? But some like, people treat relationships like mm-hmm. that. Like, yeah, like business transactions. Like, I feel like that's what a lot of shit has come to. Like, because, I mean, people are in a relationship just, just for some consistent box. Somebody in a relationship yeah. because it's a rebound. You know what I'm saying? And like, some of them in a relationship because they don't like being alone. And sometimes they might need to be alone to figure out what the hell wrong with them. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Like, like <laughs> it's, 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 it's much deeper. Yeah. Like, for sure. real. <laughs> but, uh, shit. Let's segue into the shit I showed y'all on Facebook. Go hard, peep the boner. I've been shutting shit down, talking way before Corona. I've been balling Villanova. I'm a star about to.